Oh god. So guys, I was walking behind here and spotted that. What the heck? I think this is a piano. Oh my gosh, it is. Here are pieces of where the keys went, right here. There's bones underneath there. You see right there? Something was living down there. And there are the little strings and scents for the notes. That's crazy. So weird how something can just be like right there. Something like as weird as a piano, like why would they keep a piano outside? You guys see it down there? Right there. It's a Native American arrowhead. It's probably been sitting there for close to almost a thousand years. What a cool first find. And my first signal back here. I cannot believe it, look. So guys, this is actually a part of a black powder flask. This is the top portion of it. It would have a little spout that would go down to the bottom. But right there is the lever where you'd get the black powder out and there's a cover for it as well on there. That is a very cool find though. I'm really excited about that. And that there's also a lot of history here. So let's get to it, keep going, and we'll see what we find next. And you guys know I love digging the old horseshoes. There's another one right there. That's crazy, there's stuff all over this property. This is ringing in as iron, but it's overloading. What is that? You guys have any idea what that is? I have absolutely no clue. Guys, I just found something super, super cool. You gotta come check it out. Look at that right there. This is silver. Oh my God, this is silver. And it's beautiful and ornate. Do you see the patterns on it? It's got like a flower pattern right here. God, sterling silver. How amazing is that? I want you guys to guess what I'm detecting next to. And I'm, I mean, it's gonna be pretty easy and obvious to see, but look at that right there this is an old road they used to go to the old house that was over here but we're finding some cool stuff here guys today I'm at a really old abandoned house this is from the 1850s the rumors have it that there are ghosts in here now personally I don't think that this is the case um, there are a lot of situations where there can be old homes that are haunted I, this one I don't think is haunted so let's take a closer look inside and see what we can find or see what we can even distinguish from this old home site but I'm really excited to see what's in there and I'm gonna take you guys along with me it's all these thorns Here's the door, you can see where the lock is. Hello? Oh God, this looks really freaky. Something just moved inside, I'm kind of getting a weird feeling. Do you guys see anything in there? I don't see anything, but this is kind of creeping me out. Look, there's one of the old outhouses or sheds. There's some old jars around it too. Look at that one right there. And some old bottles. That's really strange. This place is not giving me the best feeling though. I don't know what's going on. Take a look at that. the old stone foundation wooden floors right here there's an office chair I have no idea why that's in here you see someone's been in here someone's been like living here or something oh 
my god. Look at all these old bricks. There's an old mattress here. Why are there two old mattresses here? That's so strange to me. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Do you see these pictures? Some type of duck or something, look at that. Oh, I did not see those either. Those are wasp nests right there. Oh my gosh, this place is cool. Look at the stacked brick. And those pictures are really cool too. Oh my God. You know that feeling when like you get a really uneasy feeling? That's kind of what I have right now, but we're just gonna go and see what's in here. Look, there's dishes. These are not new really or old. There's the attic. Why would there still be beds in here though? Unless someone was living in here. Who knows, this is really freaking me out though. This little bar, I don't know if you guys know, but this little bar was used when they wanted to cook things. So they were cooking things for dinner right here, which is crazy. There's a glove. Who knows what was going on right here. Stone pegs. These are pegs, wooden pegs for the house. DFP, do you see that carved right there? DFP, I wonder, maybe that was the guy's initials who used to live here. Oh, this is giving me a really uneasy feeling. Spoons. There's another spoon right there. Some sort of cooking ware. There's a box lid. There's all sorts of stuff over here. Broken pottery, yet again. More brick. Oh, there's some sort of box right here. What is that, like a toaster? That is so strange. This is freaking me out, honestly. I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried in here. Not just because this is like a, a super old, old abandoned house, but just because, I mean, I, I just, I don't know if I want to be in here that much longer anymore. But those are, I mean, look at that. You just don't see artwork like that anymore. That's characteristics of the 1800s for sure. Oh God, what was that? Did you hear that? place is starting to give me the creeps. I can hear noises inside of here too. There's noises all around me. There's an old hangar of some sorts. Looks like it has almost bird nests in it or something. I wonder if there's any coins in these cushions either. They're not going to lift up. Oh God. That. Oh, that just gave me chills. I just heard something in the attic. Oh my gosh. This is giving me an uneasy feeling, guys. I got to get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more coming soon. I need to bring someone here with me when I'm doing this because this is actually, like, freaking me out. Stay tuned for more, guys. There's going to be more, and I really, I really appreciate you guys watching.